Art Fair Confidential, the Be in the Know podcast for the art curious. Join the creators of Art Expo New York and Spectrum Miami Art Fairs as they delve into the passions of art collectors, the creative spirit of artists, the how-tos of a successful art business, and the importance of art in today's world with interviews, discussions, and collaborations. Sponsored by Art Business News. I mean, it's been great. I mean, I'm painting something that I hope isn't controversial, but I'm painting Jesus, right? I'm religious, and, and, I, and I believe in I'm Christian, so sometimes, maybe these days, that's a little different. But at the end of the day, um, if you go back, Michelangelo and everybody else, that's what they were doing. And I'm just trying to spread the message of love, and God gave me a gift, and for me, that, that gift was painting. Um, so, or dressing cool, maybe. I'm not sure. But, but really, I mean, I came up with this because uh, 2012, I had wrote down that I wanted to do a stained glass Jesus. And um, in June, I lost my company. In September, I started posting and I started to paint again. And so I painted Jesus. And I started making it like stained glass and trying to make it like a pop art influence. And maybe that's my influence from Miami. Um, maybe that's my influence from the past in some sort of way, but that's kind of how it turned out. It's been a great reception. I mean, there's been a ton of people. My feet are tired. Um, my legs are tired. Uh, but it's been a lot of people coming in and out. And wow, sometimes is the is the answer. And and that's a, that's good. You know, if you're getting a reception like that, then I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. First, Liz, uh, I'm so thankful for Liz Wood. Is that, you know, she saw me. Um, she loved my art. And I had prayed a lot about somebody finding me because, uh, you know, as an artist, you want to get out there and you want people to know who you are. They want, you want them to see your work. And uh, Liz saw my work and um, I could see in her that she really loved it. It wasn't just, oh, maybe we can make some money together. It was, I really love what you're doing. And it meant a lot. Um, and this is the first one. Dude, I, I honestly, I painted my whole life. I've been painting once a year, once every two years, if that a picture for a friend or something like that, nothing. And then uh, in June, when I lost my company, I said, you know what? I'm just gonna paint Jesus. And then I sent it to a couple of friends and they're like, dude, you should sell this. I didn't even know you could do do art. And then here I am. Uh, and I have to thank, thank God for that. And I thank my buddy Liz now that's doing it too. So. That's a beautiful story. Thanks, man. Um, any closing thoughts before we head out here? No, I mean, you, you guys, hopefully, if you guys didn't make it out this year, We'll be here next year also. Um, there's some amazing work here. There's some, ama I'm sure you've already seen, there's some amazing artists. And I'll tell you, being an artist, it's an up and down ride, right? I mean, it's, it's you putting yourself out there. It is you working maybe every day to make something from your heart or something that you believe in or something cool that's in your mind. So you are literally going to see somebody's heart on a canvas or wood or in a sculpture or something. I think it means a lot. Traffic was bad, but it's worth it when you make it. You know, it, it's it's definitely worth it when you get here. So hopefully that helps a little bit. Uh, thank you so much. Thanks, brother. Listen to more of the Art Fair Confidential podcasts at redwoodartgroup.com forward slash podcasts. And we'd love to hear your feedback as well as suggestions for new topics. Just drop us a note at info at redwoodartgroup.com or click on the comments box at the bottom of the podcast website page. Remember to stay in the know. Join us next time for more Art Fair Confidential.